Hello there! In this video you will learn how to use Cloudinary images with NAX3. Cloudinary is a digital asset management service that allows you to manage, transform, optimize not only images but videos as well. Let's go into the code. I have generated a simple NAX3 application and we can verify it by going into package.json and in the naxconfig.ts file. As you can see, I don't have any modules registered yet. The project is already running, so let's check in the browser how it looks like. As you can see, we only have the Next welcome component with just some basic information about the Next ecosystem. I already logged in to Cloudinary, Digital Asset Management Service, and this is how the dashboard looks like for me and will probably look quite similar for you as well. In this video, we'll be focusing mainly on the media library, but make sure to check out other Cloudinary functionalities that are available right here. In this tutorial, we'll be fetching and modifying this image. So make sure to copy its URL because it will be used for the next image module registration, as well as the source of the image in our application. Let's go to the code and install next image module that will be used to integrate with Cloudinary. I will stop the server and install next image module. yarn at dash dash dev at next slash image edge. The module was installed, as we can see, in the package JSON right here. So let's register it in our next application. We'll go modules and open up an array. And inside of it, we will say at next slash image dash edge. In the basic example, with the default image provider, which is in this case IPX, this would be enough for our application to work. But in this case, we want to integrate with Cloudinary. So the next step here would be to create a new object called image and inside of it say Cloudinary and as a base URL, pass part of the path that was our image in Cloudinary Media Library. Let's paste it right here. And from here, we'll just splice this part as it is not needed here. Then in the app view component, instead of this next welcome, we'll just say h1 image from Cloudinary. And below we will say next image As a provider here, we'll pass Cloudinary and as a source, we'll pass this one with the slash. Let's save it, start the server and see how it looks like in the browser. As you can see, we have the image here, but it's too big for our application. And we want to also use some modifiers as well. So let's go back to the code again and use some width and height props and the modifiers as well. We'll go width 300, height 160 and as modifiers we'll pass an object where we will say round corner and we will set it to max and effect we will say gray scale. Let's save and see it in the browser. As you can see the image was automatically resized and 
added a grayscale effect. This is how you can integrate Cloudinary with your NAX free application. Just keep in mind that this is just the beginning of how you can use Cloudinary to optimize and modify your images.